One of the most lasting side effects of the storm may be felt to the east along our shoreline. News Channel 5 meteorologist James Whelan continues our team coverage tonight from the beach where the mother nature is still kicking up the surf, much to the delight of surfers. James? Yeah, thanks a lot, Jim. Definitely rough out here. I'm at the Juno Pier, and this is the hub of surfing, fishing, beach going in Northern Palm Beach County. And still a lot of people around right now, but things have calmed down quite a bit. Here's some video shot earlier from my photographer, Glenn Weston, and check out these surfers. Just a few of them out, though, because waves aren't all that great. And it has since calmed down a little bit, too. It's about three to four feet right now with just a few surfers out, and you see them there in the video. And the wind gusting now, maybe up to 25 or so at times. And back out live, you see the kite borders down the beach. Yeah, Kite Beach there, just north of the pier and a lot of them out there. This is what they wait for. This is what they hope for. It's uh, a storm, but not the severity. So that's good for uh, everybody involved here. And it looks like the beach has done okay. They just finished the renourishment project here and it's doing okay. However, there are some uh, nests uncovered of the sea turtle nests and whatnot. And I talked to some of the people on the pier and they said fishing has been pretty good. Lots of snook bonita out there. They've been catching throughout the day and definitely still rough as you see live here at the beach. And uh, again, waves are about three to four feet. Still not a good time to be in the water though. Rip current threat is still going to be high through the entire weekend as the winds will kick up again on Sunday and Monday. Reporting live from Juno Beach, James Whelan, WPTV News Channel 5. James, thank you.